Hello everyone, this is Suyesh here. Okay, so in this video we are going to discuss about our spinal cord. Okay, the basic introduction of the gross anatomy anatomy of our spinal cord. Okay, and uh, it will be in parts. The videos on spinal cord will be in the parts. In the first video we are going to discuss about the basic spinal cord structure, where it is located, and what are the segments of spinal cord, and in in which system it is located okay so let's start uh, the spinal cord as you know that spinal cord uh, has uh, spinal cord and the brain are the two contents of our central nervous system okay so central nervous system is actually uh, divided into two parts so cns is divided into our brain and spinal cord okay spinal cord is actually made up of our nervous tissue tubular structure which is present between the vertebra it is the spinal cord the colored portion okay so spinal cord so spinal cord is actually uh, Actually, it is a messenger or a pathway. It takes the uh, signals or impulses to and uh, from the body. That is, takes the uh, impulses from the brain to the peripheral parts and from peripheral parts to the brain. Okay, it's just a center of uh, pathway or passageway to the brain. The signals which are coming and the signals which are going to the brain. Okay, so it is actually uh, the part of CNS. So this is your brain and this is your spinal cord. Okay, so remember this. Okay, now uh, CNS has a connectivity with your peripheral nervous system. So peripheral nervous system actually includes our spinal nerves. So these are uh, these colored ones which are present between the vertebras are called as spinal nerves. Okay, at the different uh, segments of our spinal cord. Okay, so PNS includes our sensory two types of fibers. Okay, sensory and motor. And in sensory, uh, there are two types of fibers: autonomic and your visceral that is your visceral organs there will be autonomic uh, fibers and for your sensory uh, for the pain and touch there will be sensory fibers okay so uh, the both includes the sensory and the motor include and which is called as spinal nerves okay including both motor and sensory fibers so it is a great uh, connectivity between our uh, cns and the peripheral nervous system the so spinal nerves okay so spinal nerves actually takes the signals from the spinal cord to the peripheral system and takes back the signal uh, the outgoing signals and the incoming impulses okay so th this is the function of your spinal nerves, which is the part of our peripheral nervous system. So we are now discussing our CNS, that is the brain, this is the brain and the spinal cord which is the part of our central nervous system. Okay, so let's begin uh, with the structure, uh, the cross anatomy of the spinal cord from where it begins, where it ends. Okay, so as you know that this is your brain. Okay, so brain has three uh, regions, you know that, that is uh, the upper part is your anterior cranial fossa and this uh, larger more than, uh, bigger than your anterior is your middle and the largest one is your posterior cranial fossa in which your spinal cord, from where your spinal cord originates. So as you know that in posterior cranial fossa, there is a big hole, big hole or a called, called a foramen, that is called as foramen magnum. So this is your foramen ma magnum from where your spinal cord originates, okay, uh, present. Okay, exits from the, actually exits from this hole, from the brain, the spinal cord. So, and this is your brain stem, okay? This is your brain stem. And this is your foramen magnum. Foramen magnum, okay? So, let's see, uh, as you know, this is your C1 vertebra, okay? C1, cervical vertebra. So, its origination point is C1, that is cervical 1 vertebra. And it ends here, okay? So, as you know, the, these are your lumbar vertebras. So, this is your L5. L4, L3, L2 and L1. So it actually ends between our L1, L1 and L2 vertebra. The spinal cord uh, is uh, located above side at the level of your C1 and ends at the level of your L L1 or L2. Okay. So this this is your uh, basic location and the uh, ending of your spinal cord. Okay. So this is your actually your basic uh, concept of spinal cord. Okay, so this is made up of your uh, nervous tissues and it is a tubular structure present between the vertebral columns. So now let's see, as you know that there, uh, now let's see the segments of spinal nerve, these colored ones. There are five segments of spinal nerves, as you uh, like vertebra, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacrum, and coccyx. Okay, so let's see this, uh, let's see the cervical segment. So let's mark first. So this is your, this region is your cervical segment. Okay cervical segment and this green one is your thoracic segment thoracic segment okay and red one is your lumbar segment red one is your lumbar segment and the dark blue one is your sacral sacral segment okay and last one is your orange one is your coccyx, coccygeal segment, coccygeal segment. So in this segments, uh, the uh, by the in the, the segments, these are segments of our spinal cord. Okay. So in this segment, there are present our spinal nerves. So these are these the 
fibers which are originating from our uh, spinal cords these are the spinal nerves which are present between the vertebras okay so uh, first we will count uh, uh, the number of spinal nerves uh, how many are present in the cervical thoracic and lumbar and the sacral and the coccygeal segment so as you know uh, know that there are 31 uh, pairs of spinal nerves so in the cervical segment there are eight pairs of spinal nerves eight pairs eight pairs okay so uh, uh, why pairs because this is a lateral section from the right side so in the left side there uh, there will be also eight eight more so eight from this side eight from the opposite side and the right and the left okay so eight pairs of spinal nerve in the cervical segment so why uh, as you know there are seven vertebras seven cervical vertebras but there are eight spinal nerves the reason is that reason is that c5 c6 and c7 reason is that it is actually originating just above the vertebra between your that is between your foramen magnum that is the skull region and between the c1 vertebra it is not originating below your c1 it is originating above that is why it is ending just above your t1 vertebra okay so uh, there is a special point in this region that in cervical segment all the spinal nerves originate above the vertebra so it they are going above the vertebras uh, above the cervical vertebras but below from the thoracic region they will be below the below the vertebras see this here there is uh, they are below the thoracic in the lumbar also they are below like in the uh, below the cervical segment they all are below the uh, vertebras but in the cervical segment they passes above the vertebra so from c1 to c7 so that is why there are eight pairs of spinal nerves in the cervical segment okay now in the thoracic segment how many pairs so by the uh, counting of our vertebra there are 12 vertebras uh, vertebras so there will be 12 uh, 12 spinal nerves okay so 12 spinal nerves okay and the lumbar segment there will be five by the five spinal nerves five pairs so this is pair this is also pair okay and in the sacral segment there will be again there will be five pairs okay and coccygeal segment one pair okay so uh, uh, there is a special point in the sacral segment as you know that sacral is only a one bone but during the embryological time during the embryological time in the sacral bone you know that there were five segments okay 1 2 3 4 5 so during the fusion after the embryonic stage there was a fusion of the sacrum bone so on the sacrum bone you know that you know that you know that there is a transverse ridge present because due to the fusion uh, after the embryological uh, embryological stage okay so that is why there are five pair of uh, spinal nerves from the sacral segment okay so that is the reason why there are five pairs in the sacral segment okay and the one so total we count 8 8 12 12 20 20 plus 5 25 25 plus 5 30 30 31 pairs okay so total we have 31 pairs spinal nerves okay so now the next segment is our uh, next we have to see uh, the special uh, enlargement which are present in our spinal cord so as you know that this is uh, in the cervical segment so this is called as this is called as cervical enlargement this bulgeness in the cervical region so this is cervical enlargement okay so it is present uh, at what level c5 to actually c5 to t1 t1 vertebra so level of cervical enlargement is c5 to t1 vertebra so what is the reason of this enla enlargement is that it actually supplies the upper limb skeletal muscles so because of that there are many uh, gray matters in the ventral horo horn of this cervical segment from c5 to t1 so because of that there is a bulge in the ventral horn due to more numbers of uh, gray matter in this region and there are many fibers originating for the supply or innervation of our skeletal muscles of our upper limb so upper limb muscles region is upper limb muscles so like this there is enlargement in the lumbar segment also okay so lumbar segment also so lumbar lumbar enlargement so what is the level of this this level its level is l2 to l2 to s1 okay s1 so it, it is actually for the supply of our lower limb okay so the, the same reason here also there's more number of gray matter in the ventral horns of our this lumbar vertebras from level l2 to s1 and they are actually supplying our lower limb muscles cervicals are for upper limb upper limb skeletal muscles and lower uh, lumbar enlargement are for our lower limb skeletal muscles so lower limb skeletal muscle okay so this was a sp uh, special uh, uh, anatomy anatomical part of uh, this spinal cord so now let's see uh, the ending of our uh, what is called the ending the pointed part which uh, where your spinal cord is ending it has a special name okay so what is the special name of this part is your 
कोनस मेड्यूलरस ओके कोनस मेड्यूलरस ओके सो इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द लेवल बिटवीन योर एल वन एंड एल टू ओके सो लेवल ऑफ योर कोनस मेड्यूलरस इज एल वन एंड एल टू सो लाइक दिस एज यू नो देर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ स्पाइनल नर्व्स हियर सो इट इज जस्ट लाइक अ हॉर्स हॉर्स टेल ओके अपियरेंस ऑफ हॉर्स टेल ओके सो दीज आर पार्ट्स आर कॉल्ड एज कॉडा इक्विना ओके तो कॉडा इज एक्चुअली टेल रीजन एंड इक्विना आर द फाइबर्स ओके सो कॉडा इज अ टेल पार्ट सो इट इज जस्ट अ फाइबर्स विच आर ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम द हेयर्स विच आर ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम द टेल पार्ट लाइक हेयर्स अपियरेंस लाइक हेयर्स दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉडा इक्विना सो इट एक्चुअली इट इज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम आर एल टू टू आर कॉक्जियल वन ओके सो दिस दिस पार्ट is actually your coda equina coda okay what is the level of this the level of this is l2 to coxial 1 okay so this is your actually your coda equina okay so coda equina actually actually represents the tail of the hat so just consider this as your uh, conus medullaris this is coda medullaris and like this there are fibers from both the sides like this ओके सो दिस अपियरेंस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड कॉडा एंड दिस आर कॉल्ड इक्विनास ओके सो दिस इज योर अपियरेंस इज कॉल्ड एस कॉडा इक्विना दैट इज इट रिजेंबल्स द हॉर्स हॉर्स टेल ओके सो दैट इज द नेम इट इज लुकिंग लाइक हॉर्स टेल दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एस कॉडा इक्विना लेवल इज एल टू टू सी वन ओके सो दी दिस वॉज एक्चुअली योर बेसिक स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एनाटमी ओके सो वी विल फर्दर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल टेक द ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ओके एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स सी वन दैट इज सर्वाइकल लेवल थोरासिक लेवल एंड द लंबर लेवल एंड विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंटरनल पार्ट दैट इज द ग्रे एंड द व्हाइट मेटर्स एंड द हॉर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट ओके सो दिस वॉज एक्चुअली द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द ग्रॉस एनाटमी ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ओके सो जस्ट गो थ्रो इट जस्ट टेक द फोटो सो दिस इज दस्टेक द डायग्राम ओके थैंक यू